we have already seen exponential generative function not important for gate exam but the definition we have seen this is not important for gate exam for gate exam this is not important but definition you can see but definition only definition we have seen this is optional and this is the definition the definition we have already seen in the last class so for example if this is your sequence then the exponential generative function will be this and actually this series is e power x series so let me tell you this is e power x series e power x e power x this is same as what one plus x upon one factorial plus x square upon two factorial plus x cube upon three factorial and so on so this series this series is called e power x so you can notice for this sequence the gen, the exponential generative function what is the exponential generative function what is the exponential generative function so the exponential generative function will be like this okay anyway so you know the definition of exponential generative function if you have a sequence a0 a1 a2 a3 and so on then what is the exponential generative function exponential generative function will be a0 multiplied by x power 0 divided by 0 factorial see very simple a1 x power 1 divided by 1 factorial means the ordinary generative function this is similar to ordinary generative function but we divide by n factorial we divide by n factorial we divide by n factorial so this is your exponential generative function that's it so this is the generative function topic everything has been covered please let me know did you understand please let me know did you understand and this is a summary okay let me just give you the summary the first thing you need to understand is the definition of generative function and this is the definition okay please please understand this is the definition of generative function which you already know the definition of generative function that you have a sequence if your sequence is h0 h1 h2 h3 if this is your sequence then the generative function what that will be gy what that will be this variable does not matter you can take any variable it does not matter so that is h0 into y power 0 or i can say h0 plus h1 into y power 1 plus h2 into y power 2 plus h3 into y power 3 and so on h n into y power n and so on this is the definition okay this is how generative function is defined this is the definition of generative function and we are talking about by default generative function means ordinary generating function okay now this is the first thing you need to understand the second thing you need to understand is that if you have a finite sequence then what you need to do if you have a finite sequence for example if you have this sequence a b c d then what you need to do then you need to put zero then this will this you will get okay for finite sequence next the third thing you need to understand is a gp a p g p in this infinite gp we have seen what you need to take care i told you what you need to take care if you want to if you directly want to apply the formula you need to take care the next fourth thing you have to understand is generating function is not generative function is not a formula generative function is not a formula where you can put values where you can put values okay so please don't put values generative function is not a formula where you can put values okay if you have a generative function gx for this sequence this is your sequence let's assume let's assume this is your sequence then remember that gn is not equal to an gn is not equal to an so you cannot put values generative function is not a formula this is a tool tools this is a tool to solve counting problems so don't treat this like a formula this is a special thing okay but remember but 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 what is g0 g0 is a0 but g0 is a0 so this you can apply also the uh, the fifth thing we have seen is that uh, if you have this generative function for this sequence a0 a1 a2 and so on for this sequence then you can notice that g dash of 0 that will be equal to a1 and you also need g double dash 0 that will that will be equal to 2a2 
g triple dash zero that will be equal to three factorial a two three factorial a two okay so similarly g n time differentiation zero that will be equal to n factorial okay so this means this means n time differentiation this simply means n time derivative derivative or n time differentiation so this is the idea another thing that we have seen this is the fifth point now the sixth point we have seen is tell me if you have a generative function for this sequence like a0 a1 a2 and so on then tell me this generative function is for which sequence tell me if you have a generative function for this this generative function fx is for this sequence then this f dash x this is for which sequence this is for which sequence this is for a1 2a2 3a3 4a4 and so on 4a4 and so on this is for this sequence so if you have a generative function for this sequence then you can create if you do the differentiation if you do the differentiation you will get a generative function for this sequence okay so like this you can do so these are the some points and what was the seventh point the seventh point is extended binomial coefficient when n belongs to r then what is ncr when n belongs to r then what is ncr so that will be remember r should always belong to whole number okay but if n belongs to r then you can do it by okay you will write it r times how many times you will write total r times you will write and divided by r factorial this is what you are going to do very simple so total r times you will write r terms okay r terms i can say okay divided by r factorial and also if n is if n belongs to r then don't do this these things not allowed these things are not allowed these things are not allowed like ncr is equal to nc n minus r these type of things are not allowed when when these things are not allowed when n belongs to a real number when n is a real number these type of things are not allowed okay so and also this a plus b power n this is not allowed a plus b power n so what is allowed now let's see so what is allowed so the eighth point if n is a real number if n is a real number then 1 plus x power n this is allowed okay 1 plus x power n in this 1 plus x power n what is the coefficient of x power r in this 1 plus x power n 1 plus x power n where n is a real number what is the coefficient of x power r that will be ncr okay very simple that will be ncr okay so that is the idea and if you have 1 minus x power n then what is the coefficient of x power r what will be the coefficient of x power r that will be minus 1 power r okay because remember it's like minus x so don't forget about this minus x so it's like this you can write like this you can write as minus x power r you can write like this minus x power r okay you can remove so like this you can write okay so don't forget about this minus so quite simple all these things and also this is another important thing nine that if you have if minus n c r you have where this minus n is what this is a negative integer this should be a integer this should be a negative integer then what what that will become that will become minus 1 power r okay this r this r as it is this r as it is and you will get n plus r minus 1 so like this you can do example just tell me example like minus 10 c3 maybe minus 10 c7 what that will become that will become minus 1 power 7 this 7 as it is 10 plus 7 minus 1 10 plus 7 minus 1 that is 16 c7 so that will be minus 16 c7 so like this you can do okay so this is the complete summary of the generating function everything we have seen every point we have seen and this is how you can solve so let me know if anyone has any doubt this is your generating function
are you confident in generating function every gate question we have seen all the variations we have seen kenneth rosen questions we have seen standard questions we have seen i have taken many questions from many standard universities tifr question gate question everything okay so this is what you need this generative function in the generative function whatever we have seen that is enough if you understood this then you will definitely get two marks and this is a topic which is not easy let me tell you this is not a easy topic okay very few very few students will be able to solve these questions you will get two marks okay and very few students will get those two marks so that is the benefit of these topics and from i to i am telling you 2016 2015 2018 2020 2022 2022 okay so basically generative function questions are coming from the last 7 years the generative function questions are coming